Hey guys, what's going on? This is Yon Lee Jr. So Tom Brady announced his retirement after 22 seasons in the NFL. So, you know, Tom Brady, man, he came out of University of Michigan, go blue. <laughs> and, um, you know, he was all right. You know, he really, he pretty much got a lot of limited playing time. And, you know, I know he was getting, uh, he was pretty much getting discouraged actually from his uh, former head coach in that particular time. Uh, it was Lloyd Carr. Lloyd Carr actually, he, he stated like, hey, listen, man, you know, you got to stay and compete, you know, stay and compete. You're going to be all right. You're going to get some playing time. And a, and a lot of people, I want to say they didn't believe in him, but he, he his first uh, collegiate pass was an interception. And, you know, he had to he had to pretty much, you know, prove the doubt is wrong. And um, he, he rose to the top, man. You know, I mean, he was uh, competing for his job with uh, Drew Henson. And Drew Henson later went on to the NFL and the MLB. But University of Michigan, man, I mean, he, he continuously to continuously to play. Uh, I think in the senior year, though, uh, Tom Brady did defeat big schools, okay, like Penn State, Alabama, really good, man. And then he ended up moving on, you know, went to the 2000 draft in the NFL. I think it was the sixth round. And they the NFL um, prospected, him, prospected him to be a third-round uh, talent. But I remember he, he they said um, he showed up to the rookie mini camp and met owner Robert Kraft. And he was like, this is the best decision that our franchise ever made. And despite that, the New England Patriots in that particular time had three quarterbacks on the roster. They even had Drew Bledsoe. <laughs> so uh, Tom Brady was able to go in and do what he needed to do and continuously, uh, you know what I'm saying, rise to the top, man. He, made, he had seven Super Bowls. I led to six Super Bowls, man. I mean, geez, this is crazy because... His second season in the NFL, he ended up going to the Super Bowl, and he led, and you know, and they won, you know, and they and they defeated the St. Louis Rams, and the St. Louis Rams was highly favored, so the New England Patriots was an underdog, and this is before they end up starting it, uh, creating a dynasty with them, uh, you know, with Coach Bill Belichick. This was uh, this was really good, man. I mean, the, the man even in his mid forties, I think he threw threw uh, like sixty seven point five percent of his passes, over forty three touchdowns, six interceptions. I mean, the guy is a beast, man. He's really good. You know, he still loved the game. And I always wondered when he was going to retire because <laughs> I look like, man, you have nothing to prove. You got like seven rings. Man. You know, he won one ring, uh, you know, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I might do another separate video because uh, with Antonio Brown, cause Antonio Brown on I Am An Athlete podcast hosted by uh, Brandon Marshall, former wide receiver for the Bears. He was stating that like, you know, hey, man, you know, they wanted me to come like Tom Brady recruited me. And, you know, Tom Brady, he's uh, he's going to be the pioneer. He's definitely going to the Hall of Fame, one of the greatest quarterbacks that ever lived. Uh, behind him and Joe Montana, Dan Marino and them guys, Johnny Unitas. But you have to give your props up, man. I mean, yeah, I used to hate him when he, you know, defeated us in 2006 and all this stuff in the AFC title. I remember he blew us out in a division around 2018. <laughs> well, he had Julian Elderman, but he let people like Wes Walker good, Aaron Hernandez in that particular time. And, like... He made people around him great. He even made, it was just so amazing. Like he even made mediocre receivers look good. <laughs> I mean, I think it was like, um, I think it was Anthony Hogan or something like that. No, Matthew Mulligan. And I'm looking like, who is Matthew Mulligan? I don't even know who this guy is. But Tom Brady, man, he's um, he's a pioneer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the dog is crazy. He's a pioneer, man. I got to give him his props. Regardless if you hate him or not, man, uh, he was like the LeBron James of this era. One of the greatest quarterbacks ever man i mean five times super bowl mvp uh 15 all-time pro bowl selector um you you name it man i think he threw over eighty six thousand yards in his career over 600 touchdowns in his career he's the goal i don't think you need so many quarterbacks to actually match up to his level seriously man so uh, tom brady's good you know be with your family and everything i wonder if he's going to be an announcer or a coach for the nfl i mean he he his legacy is is sealed, you know. Regardless, his legacy is sealed. So I mean, he can be a part owner of a team. He do a lot of things, man. And I just want to say, like, you know, for him to be tenacious and you know persevere throughout like his whole childhood, man, and, and just blossom in the NFL. That actually is kind of pretty much inspired a lot of people and inspired him to continue to, to do better in life. And he said one of his biggest um, inspirations is his father. You know, I can relate to that. Um, when he went to high school in California. He was a backup quarterback. You know, he was a freshman, you know, for the freshman team. He was a backup. So, I mean, he was, he navigated through that shadow, but he continuously to be something, uh, to make something out of himself, man, in a $16 billion industry. So, nothing but props. But that's all I really have to say. You guys can tune in, like, comment, subscribe, share this video.
This your boy Elmin Jr. Congrats, Tom Brady. I'll see you in the Hall of Fame. Um, yeah, man. Thank you for all the memories and championships and you know coming back beating the Atlanta Falcons. I was, it was just freaking <laughs> crazy. And then just losing when you lost to the Eagles in the Super Bowl and came back and went to another Super Bowl and won. I'm just like that is the mentality that he has, man. It's it's just crazy. So he has it. That's all we got to say, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video. I'm out. Deuces.